And I would appreciate if this discussion is done more in a relaxed, comfortable manner where you can open up with your issues, your priorities, concerns. Take the benefit of Alan's advice, maturity, and experience in the ID sector over here. And I'm sure this is going to be a wonderful takeaway at the end of this evening. Business at, at the speed of now. Everything has to happen now. So if uh, you have uh, enabling solutions in place, which are sort of giving you information which is from last week or even last day, I would put it to you that they're already antiquated. Also, businesses by default are already global in one way, shape, or form, already global. We have a global community of customers, employees, and partners. So if you don't have global customers, the chances are you have employees with global exposure, or you have partners which have global reach as well. So in one way or shape or form, we are all global companies. Uh, and we are all more and more socially connected enterprises. So what we need to do in our enterprises is tap into the positive power of social media and bring that into our organization in a positive manner. So all of these are essentially constituting the business of today. That's how businesses are today. They're very complex and very transformative day by day. So what is the role of technology in all this? We talk about business. What is the role of technology? Is technology an enabler, as we used to call it, or is it really a transformer? Today's CIO, what is expected of us as the CIOs or CTOs of the organizations? What is expected of the CIO today? Uh, are we in value creation? Are we creating value? Are we, uh, are we essentially driving change and innovation? Are we driving transformation in the organization? Or is it indeed a game changer? Are we actually changing the game? Again, over to you. I don't want to talk too much because we only have limited time. I want to actually hear more from you, and then we just uh, take the topics further. Wherever technology reaches the con end consumer of that business, the role of a CIO becomes very important, almost becomes an operational role. Take a bank or take an airline. It almost gives a new user experience to the end consumer. Technology from the organization actually reaches the consumer and <coughs> therefore becomes a very important part. Yeah, look, a uh, good point. And in fact, it dovetails very well with what we're saying, that what is the role of CIO? And okay, there are some terminologies we use in the industry. Some may like it, you know, technology is part of that until we come up with a better term. But definitely I'm with you that the role of what we presently call CIO is transforming very rapidly. And technology, let me use that word for now just to make it clear, is probably the area that transformation itself is happening the fastest. That's why the CIO role is changing almost on a yearly basis, but the CFO doesn't change much. So the questions are going into from technology related to your networking and your <coughs> programming skills and database skills to data right. administration skills to something which you really don't need it and you really go to cloud. What is really important is your commercial acumen and the business value. Exactly. That's what Mr. Gopal yeah. rightly said that. So that is going to be a real, real transformation challenge for all of us. Technology is important. Business is much more important. More than that, your acumen towards new learnings towards commercial, new definitions, new game understanding, how to get a value from what you are doing is very, very important. Naturally, we need to be a CTO. That is a transformation. Very good. Very good. Whenever some problem happens in, a, in the system, we wait for the problem to happen, then we go and rectify it. But actually, the IT department has to grow beyond that reactive mode to a proactive mode. And uh, they, they should not wait for the problem to happen and show their uh, might to resolve it or the knowledge to resolve it. They should stop or they should be knowing that when the problem is happening and before the, it comes and hit to the user, they should get it rectified. Look at the technology as an enabler for serving the customer fast. So that's what I feel was the challenge and we, uh, from the five counters, each counter used to take one and a half minute to check in one passenger. So by implementing fast boarding pass and baggage tag printers, we reduced the check-in time to 35 seconds. So we almost turned up the three times of the number of passengers from the same five counters than what it was earlier. So that's where I feel that, you know, how CIOs should take forward. Now, 
the point you're raising, sir, is a very important one. It's actually getting the IT people, including the CIO, closer to the business, understanding the business itself. So bridging that gap. So IT is not like a department that we just sort of decide what to do and then throw something at them and they have to develop it. They have to understand the business. And in fact, I will put it to you that in, in, in a lot of organizations, IT, uh, people in IT should have a career path that sometimes takes them out of the IT departments and into the business side of things. So many business processes have changed over the years and we keep on changing the processes every day. So that is the challenge, how to manage the IT infrastructure with the changing processes, business models, that is what the challenge is. I mean, when we talk about transformation uh, and uh, questioning status quo in the business, the same thing applies to technology. Technology has changed so much. Many things right now are possible, like with cloud, which wasn't possible before. Uh, technology is becoming a lot more cost effective because of that. So this is actually a disruptive technology in its own right. It's changed everything. It is actually questioning the traditional IT companies, the way they go to market, the way they sell, it's changing all of that. You look at, you know, uh, the installed base of companies, what they do in terms of maintenance charges, this and that. All of that with cloud, once it takes off big time, is a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past. You know, you're actually using a solution as a service and you're paying for it on a monthly basis. Everything included. No maintenance to pay. So th this is a game changer. In my view, that's a game changer. Starting from the very <coughs> basic compensation benefit, performance, uh, uh, you know, appraisals, where you know, you're going and explaining the HR that this is what you are doing currently and this is what we can enable you, where you are spending X amount of rupees or X amount of dollars a year. Let's take us, let's join hand and this will come down. Your operational efficiency will increase. So it's awareness is a first factor where the CIO is going to take a lead. So you have, to, you, have to, you have to open the door, you have to crash the door and say that here we are, I'm standing in front of you, tell us. Or we will create awareness for you. So awareness is a one factor which I have understood in my new role. Mm. Second role is uh, cyber is uh, growing like Ashish mentioned, social. With that, the bigger uh, challenge lying on our shoulder is the security and the intellectual property aspect of the company. I don't have the answer to some of the questions you mentioned about security and this and that. You know, we all need to talk about these things. But definitely blocking them is not the answer. That doesn't work. You know, how often in your own organizations, people, maybe your, your own, you know, uh, mail services is down and somebody just sends an email with company data to another colleague because, you know, through, through a... a a private email, you know, that's a breach of security already. These things happen all the time. Or put a document uh, on, a, on a thumb drive and just give it to somebody else. Uh, every one of these is a breach, of, it happens every day. So we just need to actually understand all this and, and deal with it. I think at the end of the day, uh, committed employees are the best bet against any type of piracy or breach of confidentiality. You need to have the right people, they need to be committed, you need to train them well, you need to compensate them well. And you need to give them a career path, as I said, which, which is visible to them. They can relate to it. And sometimes that career path may not be in the IT department. It might take them out. You, know. and it, you need to make you know, their, their career interesting. The role of the CIO, as you rightly said, should be more of managing people, retaining talent, and getting into the boardroom to you know, associate the department with the, with the business. <coughs> I feel is is you know uh, is something which which is missing at this point in time, and uh, hence what happens is all those pieces are you know in piecemeal discussed and uh, then <coughs> you are just there as an enabler. The other part which uh, one need to focus on is that the new force which is coming in is is all you know the last year MBAs passed out, Facebook generation as we call them. So they feel that you know they know more IT than us, uh, and and that's a fact. So if you don't really know how to fix their iPad, you don't really know IT. <laughs> that's that's a fact, and it's inevitable. So as an IT department, you need to associate with that user and give him an enterprise IT 
which is as easy or simple as Facebook. That's right. Right? We have given them everybody a target to get them into all departments. So they will be departmental CIOs. And that's how we're trying to bring the change there. And so that they become more functionally rich to bridge that gap. And we, we already have different guys from business who has come into IT. Now we are trying it other way around. On behalf of all of us, I would like to thank Alan personally for coming over here, being with us, spending his valuable time and sharing his infinite knowledge with us today.